Hello. So here's a quick one to uh, talk about a card of the week that uh, one that I've uh, made a surprisingly long time ago. Actually, I thought I'd made it sooner than I had uh, actually had. It was made in 2017. It's called Neurodiverse, and this is about my own, based on my own experiences of being neurodiverse uh, myself. So um, this is one that I. Uh, one of the ones I plotted out in my head and I knew which, uh, what kind of uh, thing that I wanted. So I have uh, various elements to, well, really two elements to put in, but a third in the fact that I've got this image, I've got a black and white image of a brain, meaning the mind, so, uh, the way of visualising that. But as you can see, I've done it uh, not grayscale as most brains are. What I've done is I've done a kind, trying to do kind of, not too obvious a rainbow, but uh, a various spectrum of colours to represent the different spectrum of um, of um, of uh, to show that or or um, in my case autism, but uh, other neurodiverse um, uh, uh, groups is is a spectrum. So it's um, and how uh, one how one way to describe it is actually it's not so much like a um, you know, like the march of time thing, where it's like um, very uh, narrow, very narrow and easy, and one end very severe on the other. It's more of like a color wheel. So you so you have some attributes come from here, some come from here, some come from here. So it's uh, that's why you've got the spectrum of colors, and that's why we generally use um, that as um, as to symbolize us. Also, another color that as we get used is gold sometimes. Um, because of um, the chemical on the periodical table, chemical um, uh, gold is uh, represented by the letters AU, so it's AU of autism. Uh, we generally don't like the uh, the colour blue because of um, that's for some reason that's been used by the group Autism Speaks, which doesn't doesn't speak for autistic people. Is you know what when no, it's not the voice of autistic people. It's more geared towards parents who want to make their child, their children, quote unquote, normal again. But anyway, so um, and that's um, the reason for the chaos symbol behind. It's not to show that well. Sometimes things can, like can feel a bit chaotic uh, for us, but that could also be for neurotypical people as well. But it's more so for us. But sometimes where uh, life feels like it, it doesn't make sense. Especially, it was especially so much for me before I found out. Um, and I didn't understand why life was as different as it was. You know, why nothing seemed to make sense. But um, once I found out that I was autistic, that actually helped, actually helped a lot. Because it, it made me understand there's a reason for it. And so um, I knew how to, I knew a bit better how to cope with life after that. But also the lines, go, the arrows going everywhere could uh, could also and does uh, signify the fact that some people uh, go this way, some people go this way, some people go this way. So it shows, you know, the, the many threads and strands there are and um, how diverse some of this can be, hence the name neurodiverse. There's more than one, more than one type, and sometimes we also overlap as well. So, um, and I also do like, uh, I also like the symmetry of this particular chaos symbol. So you have here, you have the diamond shape that's made here, and you also have the rectangle here. So almost, and you've got the crossing of the two, or it can be like a, a instead of a diamond, it can also be like a square. There's um, a square shape that's tilted backwards a bit, like a pane of glass or something, or a mirror. So that's all good. I really like all that. Um, and the, the white border at the end is just so that was just stylistic. So you, it's it separates it from what's on the background. Um, so there was no more meaning than that. It's just I thought it looked better. So. Yes, this is all, and this, like I said, um, um, I haven't specifically state, but yes, this was done digitally, obviously. Uh, as you see, I've got my little, one of my previous um, signatures in there when I was still writing them by hand, I had to write one by hand and scan it in. 
now I get a bit lazier and just type it and uh, save it as a file and also this version is uh, I've just actually first made you know the, the white background version for years it was just wrong wrong way it was this the um, PNG with the plain back with the with the um, no background so um, that's sometimes easier to view and this is probably how it's going to be used anyway um, so let me know how you what you think of that if anything out there is if anything out there are neurodiverse let me know if you feel this represents you at all I did it pro, I did it really to represent me but as you should know or do or should know is the fact that you know even even among neurotypical people as well everybody's different so what represents me will not very likely represent you as well and that is a whole crux of it that's a whole importance so you may have um something uh completely different behind this brain or it may be pointing another way or another color that kind of thing we may not even want to use a mind at all um to represent uh, your feelings on this matter or how life looks for you but um, let me know what you think and uh, as always like share and subscribe and um that I uh, look at the my link tree is in my is in the description as always as my socials and my merch links and I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.